Hello, learners. Thank you for joining me for our lesson today. Today, we will be setting purpose, working to understand the power of printed words to convey a message. Materials. For this lesson, all you will need is your thinking cap. Here we go. We have two learning targets today. Remember, the learning targets are the things that we are working to learn and the skills that we will practice. Our first one is, I can review rhythm and rhyme in the poem, open a book, unlock a door. And I can determine or figure out the author's message in the poem, open a book, unlock a door. Sit down and come together, together, together. Sit down and come together, together right now. Sounds. We worked with this poem in our last lesson. We talked about how this poem had rhyming words. Today, we are going to work with some other sounds and parts of the words. But first, let's read through the poem. I invite you to use your drumstick fingers and just tap and feel the rhythm of the poem as we read it together. Are you ready? Open a book, unlock a door. I want an adventure, new lands to explore. So I open a book to unlock a door. Today I'm a knight, tomorrow a frog. Sleep in a castle, hide in a log. A mystery to solve, turn the page to learn more. I open a book to unlock a door. Great work. This time we are going to use our drumstick fingers and tap when you hear a word that rhymes. So listen carefully. Here we go. I want an adventure, new lands to explore. So I open a book to unlock a door. Today I mean night, tomorrow a frog, sleep in a castle, hide in a log. A mystery to solve, turn the page to learn more. I open a book to unlock a door. Fantastic work listening for those rhyming words. I want an adventure, new lands to explore. So I open a book to unlock a door. In that part of the poem, we heard the word adventure. I am wondering how many beats are in the word adventure? The beats are the parts of the word. Another word for beats is syllables. Let's listen carefully to that word adventure. You can use your drumstick fingers and let's tap out the beats or the syllables together. Here we go. Ad, then, chur. How many syllables did you hear? That's right, three. Today I'm a knight, tomorrow a frog. Sleep in a castle, hide in a log. How many beats or syllables are in the word today? You can get your drumstick fingers ready and let's tap out the syllables. To day. That's right, there are two syllables in the word today. Great job. A mystery to solve, turn the page to learn more. I open a book to unlock a door. 
how many beats or syllables are in the word book. Let's get ready and tap it together. Book. How many syllables did you hear? That's right, there's just one. Book. Now, what do we call the beats in a word? Mm-hmm, syllables. Some words, like book, have just one syllable. Some words, like today, have two syllables. And there are even words with three syllables, like adventure. Word work. Let's play a game. I am going to say the syllables of a word. And then I want you to put the syllables together and tell me what the word is. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. First, we have O-pen. What word does that make? That's right, open. Here is the next one, explore. Mm-hmm, explore. The words open and explore both have two syllables. Now, we are going to break words down even smaller. I am going to give you a word, and then I want you to break that word apart. We're not going to break it into syllables because these are just one syllable words. I would like you to help me break the word into its beginning sound and its ending chunk. Let's do an example together. The word is door. The beginning sound of the word door is d. And then its ending chunk is or. Your turn. The word is log. What is the beginning sound in the word log? Mm-hmm, an ul. And now, what is the ending chunk in log? That's right, og. So we can break the word into ul, og, log. Now that we have broken words into their beginning sound and ending chunk, we are going to go even smaller. Let's look at a word together. The word is door. What sound do you hear at the beginning of the word door? Mm-hmm, there's a d, and then an o, and then an er. That's right, there are three sounds in the word door. Let's look at another word. The word is book. What sound do you hear first? Mm-hmm, b, and then in the middle, u, uh, and then at the end of the word book, what do you hear? That's right, a k sound, b, u, uh, k, book. Now it's time to be detectives, detectives, detectives. Now it's time to be detectives and look for some clues. Question and answer. Let's spend some time thinking about what this poem means. Oftentimes, the title of a story or a poem gives us a clue about what it is about. The title of this poem is Open a Book, Unlock a Door. What do you think this poem is about? Let's start reading. I want an adventure, new lands to explore. So I open a book to unlock a door. 
today I'm a knight, tomorrow a frog. Sleep in a castle, hide in a log. Hmm. What do you think the author means when they write, Today I'm a knight, tomorrow a frog? Hmm. What do you think? Mm hmm. I think it means that one day you might read a book about a knight and feel like you are a knight. And the next day, you might read an entirely different book about being a frog and you might feel like you are the frog. A mystery to solve. Turn the page to learn more. I open a book to unlock a door. What do you think the author means with that last line? I open a book to unlock a door. I agree. I think the author is talking about how each time you open a new book, it's like walking into a new world and going through a new door to a new place. Where would you like a book to take you? You can be thinking about that question today. I had so much fun exploring this poem with you today. I look forward to our continued learning together next time.